The United States Space Force USSF, officially activated and assigned U.S. Space Forces Indo-Pacific U.S. Space Force Indo-Pac to the U.S. Indo-Pacific Command in a ceremony at Camp H.M. Smith under the leadership of Brigadier General Anthony Mastelier. The Space Force, on November 22, opened the Regional Command Center at Joint Base Pearl Harbor, Hickam, Hawaii to manage military space operations across the Indo-Pacific. U.S. Space Forces Indo-Pacific is the first in a string of new command centers. Brigadier General Anthony Mastelier, the former commander of Space Launch Delta 30, previously the 30th Space Wing, at Vandenberg Space Force Base, California, and head of the Space Forces and Air Forces Central Command, will serve as the organization's first commander. In this video, Defense Updates analyzes why the U.S. military is opening a regional space command center dedicated to the Indo-Pacific Theater. Let's get into the details. This video is sponsored by War Thunder. If you are, like us, fascinated by military vehicles and technology, I recommend you give War Thunder a try. It's a military vehicle combat game which you can download and play for free on PC, PlayStation 4, and Xbox One with cross-platform support. It has a huge variety of more than 1,200 playable aircraft, tanks, helicopters, and ships from the 1930s to the 1990s, which you can take to battle on land, in the air, and at sea on more than 80 theaters of war. War Thunder has been kind enough to offer All Defense Updates viewers a special bonus, which will grant you a free premium tank, aircraft, or ship, and three days of premium account time for registering using our link in the description below. So take the plunge and join more than 20 million players from around the world. The United States Space Force is the Space Warfare Service Branch of the United States Armed Forces, the sixth and youngest branch of the U.S. Armed Forces. It was the first branch of the military established since the formation of the independent U.S. Air Force in 1947. The direct antecedent of the Space Force, Air Force Space Command, was formed on the 1st of September 1982 with responsibility for space warfare operations. The National Defense Authorization Act of 2020 redesignated Air Force Space Command as the U.S. Space Force and established it as an independent branch of the U.S. Armed Forces on the 20th of December 2019. Teams and assets previously assigned to Air Force Space Command now form the core of the new service. The new command in Indo-Pacific has been in the works for two years as Space Force builds its own warfighting enterprise. U.S. Space Force Indo-Pac is headquartered at Joint Base Pearl Harbor, Hickam, in Hawaii to maximize synergy with U.S. Indo-Pac Com headquarters and the existing Air Operations Center with the U.S. Pacific Air Forces. In the last five years or so, the Indo-Pacific region assumed greater significance in the United States foreign policy calculus. This has been articulated in the Indo-Pacific Strategy Report released by the U.S. Department of Defense. The U.S. considers the geographic expanse of the Indo-Pacific to stretch from its west coast to the western coast of India. The Indo-Pacific region took precedence because it's home to the most pressing national security threats facing the United States. A central mission for Space Force Guardians in the Indo-Pacific will be to protect American assets in orbit from physical and digital attack, particularly from China. Chief of Space Force Operations General B. Chance Saltzman emphasized at the command's activation ceremony the importance of proper synchronization of Space Force with other services. He added of China, this is never more true than in this region where we find ourselves competing against a thinking adversary who continues to field counter space systems as well as their own exquisite space-based support systems for their increasingly capable terrestrial forces. He added, This is truly a historic moment for the Space Force. This is an important step as we normalize space into the joint force. Given today's multi-domain character of war, space must be deeply integrated with the joint team. Brigadier General Mastelier said, Space underpins every aspect of warfighting here. 
where we must overcome the tyranny of distance on a daily basis, where space enables access to otherwise denied areas, to increase range and lethality of our weapon systems, and where space is key to our ability to project power at the time and place of our choosing. In his new role, Mastelier will report to Equilino. Indopaccom boss Admiral John Equilino credited the Space Force for enabling the complete synchronization of American military forces across the vast Pacific Ocean in the face of those challenges. The Space Force will organize, train, and equip troops to operate and maintain space systems from satellites to rocket launch facilities. It then provides those resources to a combatant command through its respective component like it will do for Indopaccom through Space Force's Indo-Pacific. Leaders within the combatant commands then use those available resources to execute required operations. Space-based assets have become a critical component. We all know GPS guidance is used by combat aircraft, warships, as well as missiles. In the Ukraine-Russia conflict, assets in space are playing a significant role. U.S. satellite intelligence data is helping Ukraine immensely. Not only this, some time back, a Ukrainian soldier identified as Dima and based in the city of Dnipro had described Starlink's impact during an interview with journalist David Petrokarakos, noting the satellite-based broadband has made it more difficult for Russia to interfere with communication. Even before this conflict, the importance of space has been identified with fingers pointed at specific assets. The head of a major Russian defense contractor, Almaz Anti, designer of the famous S-400 Triumph air defense system, had said the U.S. Air Force's unmanned X-37B space plane is a secret space bomber that can drop nuclear warheads from orbit. While the possibility of the X-37 and other aircraft based on similar technologies could be used for nuke delivery has been raised multiple times, this time it came from a person who has expertise in this field. Countries like Russia, China, and India have developed anti-satellite missiles that can knock out rival satellites in space. It's paramount that the U.S. remains one step ahead in the space domain especially when it comes to the Indo-Pacific region. And this is where U.S. Space Force's Indo-Pacific comes into the picture. Subscribe for more videos like this. Hit the like button if you find the video interesting. And kindly provide your feedback in the comment section. This will help us improve.